Hi guys, and welcome back to Everything with Corgis. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and that like button. So today I'm going to teach you everything um, you need to know about corgis and why you should get one. So first we're going to do with the why you should get one. You should get a corgi because they're extremely cute. I mean look at those eyes, that nose, that snout, those ears. And of course, their strangely long body. And that small, small leg of hers. Okay. So the second reason you should get a corgi is because they're highly intelligent dogs. Not as intelligent as a border collie, but you can still fit a corgi in a compact car. And if you want to know um, how smart corgis can be, watch my video about how to train your dog eight in easy, simple tricks, or I think that's what it was called. Okay, so. A thing you need to know about a corgi is that, well, first let me show you something. That diaper over there is because she has a topic uter. A topic uter is this thing that corgis can get. It's not common, but it's not exactly that rare either. Well, it's kind of rare, but you get my point. Anyways, so corgis can get this thing called a topic uter, where their um, bladder, the little thing that connects their tube to the bladder, it doesn't connect, so she leaks pee all over the place. And that poor, poor corgi has to have a diaper on. Okay. Another thing you should know about corgi is that they have a long back right there. And uh, when you like try and train them to do tricks, don't try to do one that involves the corgi standing up. Actually, that's bad for all dogs and their backs, but especially not a corgi. Because uh, they can get like hip, like something. Their hip can be like, it can be out of place. And then their back could get hurt, their back can like, it's kind of sad. So, you really, really shouldn't like, you should be careful with the corgi's back. Or any do dog that has a long back for that matter, like a dashing hound or like a different dog. Another reason you should get a corgi is they're super popular, so you can brag to your friends about them, post it on like social media, like Chadu has her own YouTube channel, right? Okay, another um, reason you should get a corgi is because like, they can be good watchdogs. Chadu isn't a good watchdog, but like I said, she has a topic uter, so <laughs> she's not a good watchdog. That has nothing to do with um, topic uter, but that's just her personality. So, um, whenever she uh, sees somebody, she tries to jump on them, run on them, because she likes the person. But then we have to keep on reminding her, and by we, I mean my family, we have to keep on reminding her that everybody doesn't like her. But I know, how can anybody not like her? Look at that little quirky cur face. Okay. So corgis can uh, have good watchdogs, and while they have like a really, really like loud bark, China doesn't use it that much. Only when she like hears other dogs bark, like at least like ten times, she barks back. So they have a loud bark, and then that's why they're like a good watchdog. And most people think like. Oh, that, that's a corgi. They're so cute. They wouldn't be a watchdog. Yeah, but they're actually really, really good watchdogs. But like I said again, Kedu isn't a good watchdog. Another reason you should get a corgi is because they're so... Just 
just like magnificent. So if you ever saw like a corgi on like a hill or like a rock, they look so magnificent. Like you're cleaning something, Daddy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, another thing you should know about a corgi is that well, corgis tend to be stubborn. Like, sorry guys, I got cut off, but corgis tend to be really stubborn. Like, stubborn. Uh, they aren't as stubborn as like a Shiba Inu, but they're still like stubborn. So sometimes they'll try to challenge you. When that happens, you, uh, you have to let the corgi know that you're the boss and they're not the boss. So try to refrain from feeding your pet or any animal for that instance from the table and plus the food from the table can be bad for your pet yeah so and then if you keep on like gradually feeding them from your table feeding them whenever they look at you with those sad puppy eyes you just keep on feeding them and feeding them and feeding them until gradually they think they're the boss and they won't do any tricks you teach them and yeah, basically, I'm kind of speaking from experience, uh, but we don't really feed her any table scraps, but she still tries to challenge my family and I. Another thing you should know about a corgi is that they tend to grab things when they're chewing like a human with their paw. So it's kind of interesting how that happens because they have such short legs, but I guess that's how it works. They just grab things like a human does, and then they hold it between their paws so it stays stable, and then they just chew it. It's pretty interesting how corgi brains work. I know this is a video about wanting you to get a corgi, but there is something you must know before you get a corgi. They shed a lot and let me tell you why you see these uh this fur right here this beautiful very very soft fur right here is heavy so she has two layers of fur and this is her overcoat and that's why corgis are so good in the snow like yeah, and especially Chadu. She she never been in the snow, but I think she'll really like it. And then I think her black coat will keep her warm. So, uh, if you see inside, she has like a brown layer. Here, let me show you guys. She has a brown layer there. And then underneath is her skin. So... Look, if you can see right now, there's like fur sticking up here. Can you see that, guys? And then gradually they just shed a lot. So you have to vacuum now. Like get rid of your like vacuuming like for twice a week. Actually, sorry guys, I said that wrong. So you have to get rid of your vacuuming schedule to vacuum once in two weeks. Now you need to do it basically two times a week or like one time a week. Another reason you should get a corgi is because, well, they're very playful and they're not that camera shy. And they're just, like I said in the beginning, they're just overall so cute. Your heart will melt and you want to take one home. Okay, so another thing you should know about Corgi is you probably already knew this, but they don't only come in one color. Like Chadu, for instance, she's a black Corgi. You usually don't see black Corgis in pictures. She's like a full black Corgi. Like she's not like a red Corgi. She's not like, um, a, like uh, a brown Corgi. Like you know that color, right? Like beige. If you guys want to know something interesting, actually, Chadu's um, brother, who's Honey, uh, he 
has a beige coat. And that's kind of interesting. Like, I don't think, I think the mom and the dad of Shadu, they were both like beige colored. So it's interesting how she turned out like this. And then if you guys want to see something, you can kind of tell already if you watched my videos, but she doesn't have a stripe like a regular corgi. Usually black corgis like this don't have stripes. And if you guys didn't know, she's a Pembroke, which means she has that little, that small tail, not like that big tail with the cardigan, most corgi. But you can't see because of her diaper. <laughs> and another fun fact is she kind of likes me itching her in the back right here. But I think all dogs like that. So thanks for watching today, guys. And I'll see you next time. Also, stay tuned to my videos. And like at the beginning, subscribe and like, please. Bye.